Okay, it's not glamorous, but when buying and installing windows, there are a lot of choices to make, both with materials and performance technology. Consumer Reports has five shopping tips to help. Before you start in on this major home improvement project, make sure you actually need new windows. Surprisingly, upgrading just to save money on your energy bills probably isn't worth it, Consumer Reports experts say. That's because it will likely take decades to recoup the eight to $24,000 it can cost to buy and install new windows. A pro may be able to repair things like jammed sashes and broken parts. So when should you splurge? Rotting around the frame or condensation are usually good indicators it's time for an upgrade. If your frames are still in good condition, choose pocket or partial replacement windows. These are windows that are made to fit into your existing frames. Once you determine which type you need, that's where the choices really begin. First step, pick a style. The two most popular types, double hung and casement. Double hung windows are your traditional window. They open from the top or bottom. They're easy to clean and maneuver. Casements are more like a door you crank open. And since the sash locks against the frame, casements are usually more airtight. They also come in handy for harder to reach areas, like over the kitchen sink. You can replace the double hung with the casement and vice versa. Step two, pick a frame material. There are three main types, wood, vinyl, and fiberglass. Fiberglass isn't as common, and the two we tested did well in our wind resistance tests, but when it came to rain resistance, they were the only type that scored just mediocre. Consumer Report says there are far better and less expensive options to be found in vinyl and even some wood windows. Wood is classic and typically more expensive, but you'll need to commit to the upkeep. Some wood windows come with pre-painted interiors, which can add about $100 to the cost of each window, but they'll need to be painted again. Another option for the outside of wood windows, cladding, which comes in either aluminum, fiberglass, or vinyl. It protects the exterior of a wood window from the elements and eliminates the need for painting. As for vinyl windows, they're usually less expensive, but the color palette is limited. However, you'll never need to repaint or stain again. Step three, extras and features. You can easily jack up the cost of windows by adding upgrades like grills, fancy hardware, or exotic woods, and those pre-painted windows we talked about. If you're on a budget, keep in mind, these features don't affect performance. So what does? Energy efficiency features like insulated glass and low E coatings. Most energy efficient windows these days are double glazed. That means a window is essentially two panes of glass sealed together. There's a space between those two panes and manufacturers fill that space with either air or another gas, usually argon. A low E coating is a transparent coating, which reflects heat, but lets light in. Low E coatings are meant to improve insulation. In warmer climates, it's applied to the outside glass, so the sun's heat is reflected. In colder climates, it's applied to the inside glass to keep the heat in. The good news is most windows now come standard with these energy saving features. But here are some numbers to look out for when you're shopping. U factor. The lower the number, the better the window will keep heat in. Solar heat gain coefficient or SHGC. The lower the number, the better the window is at blocking heat from the sun. And finally, visible light transmittance, or VT number. This number indicates how much light a window lets in. The higher the number, the more light you see. Shop around. Consumer Reports found that prices can vary from store to store, plus manufacturers run specials, so it's a good idea to check their websites. Finally, installation matters. A window is only as great as the person installing it. Be sure to hire a certified installer. Many window manufacturers train and certify contractors and provide a list of them on their websites. You can also check industry groups like the American Windows and Doors Installers Association or the American Architectural Manufacturers Association. No matter where you look, be sure to check references. You can learn more on how to hire an expert contractor and get ratings on which windows ASTAR tests at consumerreports.org.